These are the 10 must know features of Apple Reminders that will immediately make you a pro in using Apple Reminders. Hi, my name is Anjana and welcome to the Tech Girl channel. Do you use Apple Calendars and Apple Reminders? This feature is for you. You can manage your reminders directly from Apple Calendars and Apple Calendars from Reminders. Let me show you how. Here I'm in the Apple Reminders app. I'll create a new reminder by tapping on New Reminder. Now I'll tap on this eye icon. This will open up a full context window. Here, I will give a new name to the reminder. Below this, I will enable date and pick a date when I want this reminder to be executed. Now, if you go into calendar app, you can see a day reminder at the top. You can tap on it to view the details. You can even mark the reminder complete by tapping here. Neat, right? Now, in the Reminders app, if you specify a date and a time for the reminder like this, you will get a timed reminder event in your calendar. This is especially useful if you have a calendar widget on your screen where your timed reminders will show up right on your home screen. The good thing is, it works the reverse way too. Here, I am in my calendar app. Let me tap on a time window to create a calendar event. Contextual dialog opens up. Here, I can tap on the Reminders tab. I can specify a name, notes, and even a Reminders list where you want this to go into. That's it. When you tap on Add, a calendar event is created in Apple Calendars. But at the same time, a reminder is also created in your Reminders app. You can create automations, shortcuts, Siri actions and more using the Reminders in the Reminders app. Pro feature number two. This is a note in my Apple Notes where I've listed the steps for renewing my passport. Now, I want to create a reminder reminding me to start my application process. Wouldn't it be nice if my reminders gave me these steps and details when it reminds me so I don't have to keep searching when it's time. With iOS 18 and later, it can. Let me show you. Here is my Apple note detailing all my steps. Now I can tap on the note for a second and I can drag it. This note is now droppable link. With my other hand, I can go to my reminders app into my personal task section and drop this Apple note here. This will instantly create a reminder with the notes title and with the link to the complete Apple note. Now I can specify a date and time when I want to be reminded. Also, when it's time, I can just tap on the Apple Notes icon and it takes me right to the detailed Apple Note I just created for this reminder. How cool and useful is that? I use it for a recipe, I download it to my notes and link it to create a reminder so that when it's time, I have the recipe ready. I also use for my YouTube scripts and reminder when it's time to record. Lots of use cases. Next up, smart lists. I usually have a habit of creating reminders for me into my default lists. The result, my tasks list is a merger of all sort of unrelated reminders. Now I can go back, sort it and move it to appropriate lists. But there is an easy way. Here in Apple Reminders, I'm creating a new list by tapping on Add List. Now I'll name it Indian Recipe. Now I'll tap the list type and choose Smart List. I will now go to Edit Filters and choose Tags. I'll select any selected tags and choose Indian. I will also create another list called South Indian. Also make it a smart list under filters. I'll select tags and select hashtag south. I can create more if I want here. Now I'll generically add an Apple note recipe link to my recipe list. I will also add hashtags Indian and south. Now I have all my saved recipes in this recipes list. Not just that, if I go back to see the two smart lists I just created, they also have the recipe I just created. So if I'm in the mood to cook some South Indian food, I don't have to scroll through my entire recipe list. Rather, I can directly go to my smart list and pick one. 
Any new reminder I add in the future will automatically be added too. Smart, right? Okay, feature number four. Did you know that you can create subtasks for a specific reminder event? For my video publishing reminder, I have a few subtasks that I need to complete first. Scripting, recording, editing, thumbnail and publish. I don't need to create a separate reminder for each. Instead, I'll create one reminder for Apple Reminder Must Know Features. Now, if I open the detailed dialog and scroll through the bottom, you can see an option to add subtasks. Here, I will add the necessary subtasks for this main task. That's it. If I tap on the main tasks in my list, it will open up all my subtasks. I can now also mark individual subtasks complete too. Now, there are more ways to create subtasks easily too. Here, you see there is a publish task and here is a scripting task, which is supposed to be a subtask. I can simply drag the subtask and drop it over the main task to make it a subtask. Need another way? Just swipe from left and indent it. This will also make it a subtask of the previous task. Try it out next time. Okay, this is one of my most favorite Apple Reminders feature, location-based reminders. Let's say I want to add a reminder, pick up Ralph Lauren dress when you go to the mall next time. But when you actually visit the mall, you forget that you have a reminder and you never buy it. Wouldn't it be nice if the reminders reminded you when you were at the mall? Well, it can. Here I'm creating a new reminder, buy this dress with a link to the dress. I'll open the details section. Here I'll enable location. I'll choose custom and here I'll pick the mall address. That's it. Next time when I'm physically at the mall, I'll get a notification of my reminder to pick up that dress. This is awesome, isn't it? I have one for when I arrive at the grocery store, one for when I reach a restaurant. There is also a variation of this feature to remind you when you message someone too. A reminder will pop up when you send them an iMessage. Nifty, right? Alright, this one feels like a commonly known one, but still many miss this. Folders and reminders. You may have multiple lists in your Apple reminders. For example, recipes, Indian, Italian, Chinese, Mexican, South Indian and more. Similarly, I also have a bunch of lists to remind me of places like places to visit, restaurant names, brunch spots, shopping areas, etc. An easy organization tip here is to create folders and add similar lists into that folder for better clarity and organization. To do this, just drag a list and drop it onto another list. This will create a group and I'll name it places. Now, a folder or a group is created with those two lists. I can drag and drop multiple lists into it. Now, all my places related lists are grouped into one folder. I minimize them when not needed to keep my view simple. I also have a folder for all my recipes. I have a folder for movies, shows and TV recommendation, one for YouTube related list and more. Next up, sections. These are my work related reminders. Wouldn't it be nice to categorize them into something urgent and must do now, not so urgent and other sections, right? To do this, tap on the three dots and select new section. I'll name it now. I'll again create another section and I'll name it next. I'll create another one called later. Now I can create a reminder in any of these sections like these, or I can even drag and drop a reminder into a specific section. This is very useful to categorize them. For restaurants to go, I have categorized them by their cuisine type. For movie recommendations, I have categorized them by their genre. For my YouTube work, I have sectioned them by their types. Oh, if you're creating a grocery list, Apple Reminders have an inbuilt sectioning tool. When you're creating one, tap on the list type and choose groceries. Now, when you add items to the list, it will automatically categorize and section them based on the grocery type. Next, 
This is a very underrated feature which I don't see much in other to-do list apps. Let's say you have a work presentation on Friday but you need to be reminded a day before so that you can start prepping for it. You can create a secondary reminder but Apple Reminders makes it easy using early reminder feature. When you're creating a reminder, select the date and time of the actual event. But now you will see an option called Early Reminder. Here you can ask the app to remind you way before the event, like from a few minutes to few hours or even days. Let me choose one day here. Now I will get a notification for my event 24 hours before it happens so I can start prepping for it. I use reminders heavily with Siri on my phone, on my Mac and on my HomePod Mini everywhere. I also have multiple lists. Is your Siri sending the reminders to the wrong list every single time? You can fix that and tell Siri and iOS which is your default reminder list where you want your generic reminders to go to. To do this, go to settings scroll to apps go to reminders and in here do you see default list here select the list where you want the default reminders to go to that's it next time you tell siri to remind you of something it'll send it over to the right one okay last one but also very useful one some lists are much better when viewed in a Kanban style board. It's a very famous task management system which lets you view your tasks in sort of a categorized timeline view. You can get this view in Apple Reminders as well. This is my list section into now, next and later. I'll tap on the three dots and here I'll select view as columns. Now you can see all your section tasks in a Kanban board style columns. I can easily move one item into another column. I can add items directly below an existing column item. Some people really prefer this view and style. Give it a try and see if this fits your needs better. It applies only to that list. All right, there you have it. 10 must-know features to level up your Apple Reminders if you're just using the basic list. Let me know which one was your favorite. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.